To start the project, I'm opening this uh, Releases tab on MRTK GitHub. And on this page, you can find the latest version of MRTK. And under this Asset section, uh, you can find multiple unit packages. And this uh, MRTK Foundation is the most important package that contains the MRTK uh, core services. And, and also this examples packages is uh, very helpful to understand some of the most uh, important core interactions and uh, UI controls uh, through uh, multiple sample scenes, uh, Unity sample scenes. So I'm going to download both of these packages. And there are some additional uh, zip files called MRTK examples hub. Uh, so these are convenient uh, collection of the example scenes and pre-built for uh, your devices. So you can download it and deploy to your HoloLens 1 or 2. And you can experience these uh, example scenes without uh, compiling uh, each of these. Um, so as you can see, you can easily jump between uh, the example scenes and uh, try uh, different examples. So I'm going to create a new project um, using this new menu and using 3D and type in the name, type in space and create. New project has been created, so let's import MRTK packages using this assets, import package, and custom package menu. And let's go to download and import MRTK foundation package first. So when you import the package, you, it will display the list of all these scripts and prefabs in MRTK package and just click import and also let's import example package too uh, again access import package and custom package and click uh, MRTK examples unit package after importing MRTK packages also go to file and build settings and switch to Universal Windows platform and set the target device to HoloLens and the architecture to ARM. Uh, HoloLens 2 uses ARM CPU and also go to player settings and under XR settings make sure this virtual reality supported is checked and add uh, this Windows Mixed Reality as a virtual reality SDK and depth format 24-bit uh, depth and uh, enable depth buffer sharing to make the holograms stable um, and also uh, use this uh, single pass instance for more optimized performance let's go to the uh, projects and open hand interaction example scene to check uh, if everything is running well so when you Open this hand interaction example scene for the first time. You're going to see this dialog asking uh, importing the Text Mesh Pro components. So let's click this uh, import Text Mesh Pro essentials packages. Uh, it is re required to uh, display uh, some of the button UI components. Um, and there's one bug in Text Mesh Pro. So you, as you can see, it's, you're going to see this large text and you just need to open other scenes and open this scene again and let's reduce this size of gizmo first so you can see this example scene here so let's try running this hand interaction example scene by clicking the play button and now you can see um, using the mouse right button and movement you can move your camera and you can also use a WASD key to move around and using the spacebar you can bring up this right hand and the left shift key to bring up this left hand 
and of course I can uh, move the hand using this uh, mouse wheel so you can test out this kind of hand interaction and of course the bounding box grab grab and move object and of course we can use this T and Y key to make the uh, hand uh, persistent so now using both hands I can also grab and scale uh, do this kind of two-handed manipulation uh, simulation so yeah MRTK's input simulation is quite useful to uh, iterate the design and development and quickly test out uh, without deploying to the device the physical device so now we checked uh, the hand interaction examples and uh, confirmed that everything is working well so let's I'm gonna create a new scene and so you can use this mixed reality toolkit menu and uh, there's a menu called add to scene and configure so if you click this it will automatically add uh, MRTK components into the scene hierarchy and it will also ask you uh, to choose uh, profiles so in this uh, situation uh, I'm going to choose this default HoloLens 2 configuration profile which is uh, all this uh, MRTK's profile optimized for HoloLens 2 projects so now I can see in my scene mixed reality toolkit and the mixed reality play space object um, so let's save the scene um, I'm gonna just create a new folder for my project type in space so that I can uh, separate um, my components my custom components and uh, MRTK components so when there's a new update in MRTK I can simply uh, delete and uh, add new MRTK folders um, so this way uh, there are MRTK folders and let's delete this default scenes folder and text mesh pro and so everything I'm gonna create uh, I'm gonna put in this type in space folder the scenes textures prefabs and scripts um, so that I can maintain my custom components uh, as a separate uh, items so I just create a new scene with MRTK conf uh, configuration and if I click and run uh, as expected uh, I can see the camera move the camera with the mouse and I can bring up the hand and I can simulate the air tap um, so yeah everything looks fine and I can get started or building my uh, type in space app